Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to get on here today and talk about, there's been some news about Israel Adesanya was going to fight Dreykus Duplessis at UFC 300 before Dana White announced uh, Alex Pereira, Jamal Hill. Now, there's of course, Israel Adesanya hasn't fought since his loss against Sean Strickland, announced after the, his uh, unanimous decision loss where Strickland beat him up, you know. Um, he, where Israel Adesanya announced that he was going to take some time off, which is is very understandably whether you like the guy, whether you don't. He was very, very active for a very long time. So, again, he you know, Dreyse has declined to headline UFC 300. Now, it's interesting because there's a lot of bad blood between Dreyse and uh, Israel. Israel also said he talked to the, he was on Theo Vaughn's podcast, and he talked about how it took him six years to beat Alex Pereira, and he's like, I, it won't take me six years to beat Sean Strickland. He said, but before I beat Sean Strickland, I'm going to beat Drysus. Now it's a great fight. Now, I was very I was a very big advocate that before Drysus beat Whitaker, I was like, oh yeah, Israel could have his way with this guy. He he's defensively not great after his after the first round. He gasses uh, the Robert Whitaker fight. He looked good, I'll, you know, respectfully, you know, looked good. Finish Whitaker, which not a lot of people do. So there's that. Then he fights. Then Drysis fights Sean. Now Drysis wins that matchup for me basically because he was more active, but. He misses over 200 strikes. And he was very hittable in there. And Sean Strickland just wasn't able to hit him. Which, there is a difference. You, a guy can seem to be very hittable. And the guy that he's fighting just doesn't have the striking tools to hit him. If that Dreyses that showed up that missed all those punches and fought Israel Adesanya. Israel Adesanya steamrolls him. Beats him within three rounds. That That's the truth. That is the reality. Now... How does Israel Adesanya deal with if Dreyses is able to take him down? That's a question we won't really know until they fight. You know, I think Israel defensively on the ground isn't terrible. Um, I don't think he's great because he's not doesn't have to be great. His takedown defense is pretty damn good. His knees are really really good as we've seen before. Um, I think he could do enough to make that not necessarily a crazy factor, but it is a factor. That is a, a, a part of Drysis' game that he was he's going to have to use against Israel Adesanya. But he got Sean Strickland down a lot. Now, Sean, defensively, wrestler-wise, got taken down, got right back up to his feet. So it's, it's, it's different because Sean is, you know, again, decent on the ground at least, good on the ground, we're told. Don't really see it very often, but the point is, Israel Adesanya, the X Factor, that is the takedowns of Drysis. How does Izzy deal with those? Now, again, it's a great matchup in the striking department because what is Drysis going to do? Charge at him? Try to rush him? Try to um, throw a lot of combinations at Izzy? That would be ridiculous because Izzy's a great counter striker. The best thing for Drysis to do is to have Izzy come to him. That. Easier said than done. Not about a lot of people that's been that's made Israel go to them. So it's an interesting matchup. But again, I don't think him and Alex ever fight. Uh, I don't think they really need to. Um, they've had they've had a lot of a lot of octagon time with each other. You know, they've had a lot of kickboxing time with each other. They they you know, it's it's a, it's a really really cool story. It, maybe it happens because Alex Pereira wants it to happen, but I don't think Pereira gets past Jamal Hill. So again, it's interesting because I think after this has now came out within the last couple of days, Israel Adesanya might come back by the end of this year. It's very possible, and 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 might be likely. You know, um. I, I'm I'm curious to know why Dreyses declined. Maybe he was injured. I, I think he was hurt after the Sean Strickland fight. I think that's what it was. But apparently, he was a, he was approached to headline. Um, the uh, thing there were some things that uh, that wanted to happen. Da da da. 
Uh, let's see. Um, let's see what he says. Yeah, he says he was just a headline 300, and Dreis has said no. Either way, though, it's an interesting matchup. Let me know what you guys think, as always. Subscribe, like, comment. Let's talk about this. It's an interesting conversation. Peace.